In cities across America, people launch dreams every day. They build businesses proudly and develop them boldly. In Detroit, there's a barbershop striving to become a community centerpiece. In Denver, there's a tech company seeking to revolutionize the nonprofit world. And in Little Rock, there's a family-owned cafe aiming to become a leader in the local food movement. Now, these three businesses are about to get the opportunity of a lifetime. From top business students dedicated to learning and intent on teaching. With the help and support of Holiday Inn. Watch what happens when the pressure of a ticking clock inspires innovation. Casey's not the only new face in town today. With the clock winding down in Detroit, the team of students has invited a special guest to speak with Sebastian, Gordon Logan, the CEO of Sports Clips, one of the largest barber chains in the country. Certainly someone who can talk to Sebastian's challenges ahead and growing the social club. Sebastian, we're down to one day left here in Detroit, down to the wire. So we've brought in some friends to help us think through the opportunities and challenges that we're facing together at the social club. So we have Casey, we all know, and also joined by Gordon, a Warden MBA, another Texan. Gordon, could you share a little bit about your story to kick us off? 20 years ago, we started Sport Clips. We saw an opportunity in the marketplace, and we just opened uh, number 1,260. But who's counting? Who's counting? <laughs> What's been the biggest challenge? Because in a fascinating way, right, we kind of come into Sebastian's life at the kind of inception. To take it from where you started to where you are now, I imagine it's sort of where we'll follow Sebastian in the next, you know, few years. You can't be in all the stores all the time, so you have to build systems, and that's why building systems and procedures is so important, even if you aren't franchising, even if you have multi-unit operation, because you want to make sure that everything's being done the way you would do it when you aren't there. I dream about this thing, right? And it's just really fascinating to see someone that's done it. You're in the place right now where I want to be, you know, 20 years from now. It's just really fascinating that I'm here right now and I can ask these questions. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Talking to someone like Gordon, he's giving me those insights in how I need to, you know, kind of optimize this existing space. This is a prototype for having one shop. Number two is a prototype to see if we can operate two shops. Yeah. Then number three will be, you know, kind of proving that this thing works. Yeah. And then perhaps we can franchise it. Yeah. And get back. It's hard to explain, right? It's hard for people to understand, right? When you have a vision, you feel like only you understand that vision. I've had all these questions, I've had all these ideas, some of them right, some of them wrong. To be able to ask a question and know that someone is telling me the truth based on experience, I have to soak up everything that they're saying. As an entrepreneur, either you learn or you die, period. And the reason that Sebastian still exists today as an entrepreneur is because he is always looking for some way to get better, for some way to get an edge, for some way to bring his vision to life and he knows he can't do it alone.